number one, and, I, and it's very difficult at, dif at different times to know which one is the most important. So I think they're all equal. Number one is to bring back the hostages. And at the moment, we are only bringing back bodies. Dhe aktualisht e jemi duke si edhe vetëm trupa, trupa të vdekur. Number two is to defeat the Hamas. Se dyti është të mposhtim Hamasin, ne duhet të mposhtim Hamasin. And in defeating the Hamas, it should, it should help to bring a safe border, a safe southern border back to Israel. Dhe duke mundur grupin e Hamasit, atëherë do arrim të kemi një loj sigurie për kufirin edhe për gjithë vendin. And number three is the day after, which everybody is asking Israel, what are you going to do the day after? Well, I want to say, I think that is the problem of the whole world, to help Israel to find a solution what to do the day after. But when we are being constantly attacked, Dhe e treta është pyetje që i bëhet Izraelit, çfarë do ndodh nesër, po më pas çfarë do ndodh. Dhe unë mendoj që bota në fakt duhet ta ndihmojë Izraelin për t'i dhënë këtë përgjigje, por gjithashtu duhet të ndihmojë dhe Izraelin në aspektin e luftës, sepse Izraeli po sulmohet çdo ditë. I mean, do you know that there was an attack 2 days ago from Tul Karim? which is a few kilometers away from the Tanya where we are. Do you know there was an attack? Do you know that we're fighting? Mm -hmm. And what happened? Israel, it's, Israel is fighting the war of the West. It's attacked on three fronts and four if you include Iran. In the north, in the east and in the south. Izraeli po se mohet nga të tre anë në veri, në lindje dhe në jug. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, do you realize that this is a war of survival against Iran, which is taking over not only Israel, the whole of the Western world? And look at the European Kjo streets. Kjo është në luft mbjetese, ku është i përfshirë edhe Irani, thot, shteti Irani në këtë luft, kundrejt Izraelit. Dhe vetëm, edhe përëndimi. Edhe përëndimi, pa? Sorry? I have family in London phoning me. Should we come to Israel now? Look at the streets in London. They don't feel safe. Jewish people don't feel safe. Uh, Hebrain, no, nuk janë të sigurt. Madi, nëse shojmë dhe në Londër, thot e në rrugët e Londër, sa ta nuk janë të sigurt. Why they are not safe? Now that you think, if I may ask you, do you think it was not yeah. managed good, all this situation, in your opinion? Ta ni që e mendon. Well, was it... Which countries? No, the goal, the, the goal which goal one is not nego nego negotiation uh, is good on negotiation right now that we are talking about? Në këtë moment e qëfar me ndonë të që nuk është me nadjuar si duhet? Po sa i përket negociatave që dhe i I grew up in the United Kingdom and I remember the days when the British government couldn't talk to the IRA. Unë jam rritur në mbëtërin e bashkuar. Mm -hmm. Negotiations are made between peace-loving countries. Yet yeah, it's very, very difficult, if almost impossible, to negotiate with terrorist organizations because you cannot believe a word um, they're going to say. Negociatat thot Davidi duhet në bërë nëpërmjet nga partnerët të cilët janë përpaqë, për cilë paqë dhe jo nga organizata terrori terroriste. But which are these uh, terrorist organizations which would like to negotiate? Because Flori, my colleague, was asking about the countries which would like to negotiate and to solve this situation, have, and international country, organizations you have, too. You have countries which try to mediate between the, between the um, terrorist organizations and Israel and other countries in the Western world. But let, let, let me give you an example. Yes, but uh, Egypt, a short one, because what? we want to ask also the other guests. About the situation. Why did Egypt not want? Why did Egypt not want us to go to Rafiah and take over this the uh, Philadelphia area? Why didn't they want it? Because now we found tunnels Se going from Egypt, Egypt into Rafiah. Uh, once again. Se nuk doni që Se nuk doni që yeah. Why did the Egyptians didn't want it? Because the truth comes out. All Se the Egyptian border on the Rafiah side was full of rockets aimed at Israel. Tunnels between Egypt, 20 tunnels between Egypt and Gaza, where all the ammunition was coming in. Ja, That's why Egypt didn't want it. Gaza, Egypt. 